I like the art scene in Montreal and particularly playing Oliver who is an artist. I was very lucky when I got this character because my girlfriend uh, grew up in Montreal and she spent time as a graffiti artist and knew people in the Montreal graffiti scene and so I, I met with some people and was able to talk about what it is that makes graffiti art unique and what is the lifestyle of somebody who does that. You know, when he was younger, he, he was a street artist and he did graffiti and he, he did sort of dangerous stuff. My little brother used to be an asshole. He graffitied public property, did ecstasy, ran away when he was 17. He's older now, he's in his mid-30s. He's, he's not sure what he wants to be and he needs to find some way to take the kind of dangerous art of his youth and somehow marry it with what he's looking for in his life right now. And he's a can be a tortured soul, so he hasn't found that yet. What I love about Oliver as an artist is how much he paints himself in his art. Like, uh, from what I've seen, it's a lot of self-portrait and a lot of self-expression. This is his, his way of expressing who he is, putting his true self out there. When we lived in New York, before Tom dragged me to LA, one year the Guggenheim brought in a bunch of Kandinsky's. Paints these circles. Circles and circles and circles. You remind me of one of his circles. Bromi is Natalie's youngest daughter and she is secretly an artist. She shares a connection with her uncle Oliver. They both share many passions like art. She thinks he's a very good role model. She trusts him, which I think is very big. She's writing this little story about a very unique girl who is able to remove her own head and put it back on. She takes her head off to get different perspectives on everything and I think it reflects how Romy has a different perspective on everything. And as the season goes on, we get deeper into the story of the headless girl. Yeah, let's not tell your mom about this. I think like a lot of artists, Oliver's introverted in a lot of ways because of the amount of rejection that he's had about who his true self is and how uncomfortable that can make some people, but in art, you can be as discomforting as, as you want, and people love it. It's that paradox of, if I am it in my life, it makes people uncomfortable, but if I put it on a wall, people enjoy it.